So of course there's the one of the most important passages in the scripture is uh, of course in the Gospels when uh, Jesus spent 40 days and 40 nights in the desert and was tested uh, tested by the devil who, and uh, tempted as well they tried to, to test him to see if he would yield to temptation the devil takes him up on high a high mountaintop he showed him all the kingdoms of the world bright lights shining and he said all of this will be yours can be yours if you would just bow down and worship me. This is all mine to give. And it is yours if you would bow down and worship me. And of course Christ did not yield to this temptation because the things of this world are temporary. Materialism is temporary. The things of this world do not matter and the things of this world will perish just like this world will eventually. And knowing that, uh, Christ triumphed over the devil in that situation, as he always has. Uh, and then, of course, Satan said to him, If you are indeed the Son of God, throw yourself down off this mountain, for it is written, God will send his angels to help you. And of course, Jesus said, it is written also, do not put the Lord your God to test. So, he was tested. He was tested um, with the temptations of this world, and there's the end of you can see, and the things of this world, and the things of this world, the material things, don't matter. You can't take any of it with you when you die. It's all temporary. And I want to tie that in by talking about how materialism is used to basically entrap the people who this guy's gonna stop but I'll wait but, uh, they're gonna, I'm talking now so they're gonna send people over here uh, we'll see if this guy stops here or if he continues on stops here okay. yeah so materialism and uh, of course that is how. Oh, there is the first bike there tonight. Yeah, let's see if we can get a fade too. Mm -hmm. mm. Um. So that's how it's done. If you, 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 that's this is how they do these things. They use materialism as bait, and that is used to ensnare the people who they utilize in these operations. And in life in general, in life in general, don't you want your name to be well known? You know, don't you want to be a celebrity? Don't you want um, to have accolades? You can, but you have to join the club. You got to join the club. You know, uh, got to be a Freemason, and uh, you got to, uh, you know, take the vows. And you have to go through those rites of passage. And they often refer to this stuff uh, because of George Lucas and whatnot in his Star Wars trilogy as, you know, becoming a Jedi. They, they often equate that with Freemasonry. That the whole thing with tying in the whole Jedi thing. And as you go through different levels, you gain more wisdom and whatnot, right? Until you eventually become a Jedi, meaning, I guess, up, upwards of the 30th degree to the 33rd degree. So, uh, of course, Lucas was a high-level Mason. Interestingly enough, with George Lucas as well, uh, not a lot of people know this, but that whole thing that they had um, with, uh, in the, was it late 60s? I think it was the late 60s. There's another bike ahead. Um, with that whole thing with the Rolling Stones and where they had the Hells Angels at the concert and they, um, they stabbed a bunch of hippies or whatever. Um, that was done while they were playing the song, of course, Sympathy for the Devil, and the whole thing most likely was set up as a ritual murder as well. Um, and a lot of people don't know that. And who was the person, one of the people who was filming that prior to getting his quote-unquote big break? George Lucas. George Lucas was one of the people who filmed that ritual sacrifice. Um, so you can see how a lot of these biker gangs have been tied in with this type of thing for, for many years. 
and they work with uh, the establishment and the police. And that was all set up um, there as well. So, uh, like I said too, a lot of those guys are ex-military. Um, that's how those biker gangs started to begin with. In fact, a lot of them were ex-military guys. So if you look into how prominent a role uh, the military plays in these operations as well, you'll see that there are no coincidences there that they would be involved in these things. As well as they're open, uh, basically openly admitting that, yeah, they, wor they worship Lucifer. And that's not like a joke or anything like that. People look at it and say, well, no, that's just, it's symbolic. It's not symbolic. They know a lot of those guys are members of lodges too. And uh, again, if, if you worship Lucifer, if you, if you um, join one of those lodges, and that's what it is, it's veiled Satanism essentially, but uh, as they say with a lot of the stuff, the people at the lower levels get deceived. To some extent that's true, but also the people who join, you're not going to join something like that without looking into it. So they still know what they're doing, and joining it because of material profit, because of the things that they could gain from it. Um, not thinking that they're sacrificing their souls by doing so. And that's what, what it is. It's uh, using materialism to entrap people. And that's what the devil does. Um, he will give you the things of this world. And, uh, you know, you will be heard of. You will receive accolades. You will receive praise. You can quote unquote do what they try to tell you to, to say you can, to claim you can be your own God and self worship and things like that. And, you know, it's all about you, and uh, um, that is all. That all comes from how they use materialism, and also how they how they generally not just materialism, but how they exploit uh, human vulnerabilities. So this is a guy who's going to pull in here and just kind of linger in the parking lot here. You can see him driving over there to kind of keep watches. That's his purpose. There. Um, yeah, so exploiting human vulnerabilities, and uh, so that's what they do, and. That's what it is. With the Masonic Lodges, the people who join, of course, you would, as you move up, you know, you, you get higher, you're going to get that really good job that you wanted. And in some cases, you know, if you have a talent, what, what, what are your talents? What are the things you like to do? You want to be a musician? Okay, so. Uh, join a lodge and, you know, move up and then you'll have an opportunity maybe to, to do that. But they will promote you and allow your band to grow and push you and, uh, People will know you. They will hear of you. So that comes right back to exactly what I was saying about uh, the 40 days and 40 nights and the temptation of Christ. Uh, the how, how the devil attempted to use the things of this world to get him to fold. And he didn't fold for one second. So... You need to understand that things of this world are temporary. Materialism doesn't matter as long as you have enough, you know, to eat and, and the basic necessities of life. Then that's enough. And um, the people who are doing these activities are mainly doing them you know, out of love of materialism, money, the things, the temporary things of this world, and that is what is used to. Uh, I'm going to move on if you stand here. Okay. This is because they know I'm recording. So. Okay. okay, so that's the second time he's walked by. Um, yeah, so the things of this world are temporary. And, you know, you're going to be faced with those things, those, those, those choices. Do, do you care more about the things of this world? Um, than your than your soul. Will you sell your soul for the temporary things of this world? Very important to think about that. That's what many of these people have done, certainly. There's a biker there, there's another biker there. So, the thing is, uh, a lot of the people who have been put on these lists have been put on these lists for speaking the truth. Because the people who run these operations can't, can't tell the truth. Everything they do is done through lying and deceit. And, uh, of course, communism always does that too. People who are truth speakers, academics, they don't want them around. Um, okay, there's one here. There's a wait, a wait behind here. They got it set up here tonight. Let's wait here. So 
So a lot of, yeah, that's a lot of what they'll do, is uh, things like that. And yeah, using materialism as a means to uh, working on human vulnerabilities, human weaknesses, and exploiting them to entrap people and to enslave them into doing your bidding. And that's what uh, is done there. And that's what's done in Masonic lodges too. You know, you're going to get the good job. Uh, you're going to get your name out there. You will receive the accolades that you believe are due to you. But there's a price that you will have to pay for that. And uh, that's the same thing that the devil was offering to, to Christ when he tempted him. And uh, Christ saw right through it and he resisted that temptation. And uh, as hard as that may be at times, you know, to, to turn away from the things of this world. Of course, you can't turn away from everything materialistic. Like You have to have the basic necessities, food, clothing, etc. As long as you have that, that's that's the main thing. And uh, you know, greed, uh, another human vulnerability that they use to exploit people, that they use to entrap people and get them to do their bidding. So you know, we held up our end of the bargain. We gave you what we said we were going to give you. Now it's your turn to hold up yours, and here's what we want you to do. And if that means stalking someone or whatever, they're going to do it. Because they value materialism, they value money, they value the temporary things of this world above a love of God and, and uh, basic human decency. And it has taken many years to get to that point where people value materialism uh, so much above all else. This person coming through here now, this is an empty parking lot, driving by here now and going out the other way. Um, yeah, in the writings of uh, excuse me. In the writings of Vladimir Lenin, uh, he speaks specifically about how uh, materialism, how important an aspect the glorification of materialism is within communism, within the ideologies of communism. Glorifying materialism, taking people a away from a belief in God. And that was, again, a pivotal aspect of the ideology of communism, right? Um, so, the promotion of materialism and communism go hand in hand, and uh, the things of this world, that's what they want you to value above uh, the more important real things. So here comes the bus, here. And, uh, Thank you.